Hello, and welcome to Grundy Library's Coat Club Online. I'm Miss Laura, and we are now going to do our first June session. And I want to use our coatclub.org, and so that's where we're going to go. So on your computer, I want you to, in a new tab if you want to, or on the tab you're on, we're going to go to coatclub.org. So this is what we do in Code Club. So this is our website. So remember, codeclub.org. And we're going to go to Explore Projects. So in Explore Projects, we have a number of different possibilities. So we've been doing Scratch. That's what uh, we did through code.org. Um, both myself and Miss Amber, they were Scratch modules. Today we're going to try HTML. So we're going to go to Module 1. So you have a number of different possibilities, but the one we're going to go to today is Wanted. We're going to learn how to make our own poster using Trinket. So Trinket is a website you don't have to create an account for if you don't want to. But see this poster? We're going to do something fun with it um, and get it ready. So all you need to do is go to where it says Introduction. And so then I want you to click on this, but I'm going to ask you to click it in a new tab because you want to have this one so you can follow the instructions and you want the other one open at the same time. So I'm going to click on this. So, oops, I accidentally did the wrong thing. So we're going to open it in a new tab. So it's right here for us. So when you see it, it doesn't look like the poster we saw before but it does look like the poster here for the instructions. So we have to go to style.css tab. So here, this is our index tab, and this is our style.css. So right now, this is what everything looks like for us. But they want us to take this text, so if you want to, you can copy this. And then we're going to paste it in here. So we're going to actually cover up this stuff and we're going to paste it right over top. So it looks the same. It's pretty much identical. But this is our background information. So it's going to have us follow the instructions. So we're going to go to text align property. So text align says center. That's where we wanted it, right? Um, but we can say left or right. So if you wanted everything not to be in the middle, we could say left. And then it's going to move everything left. But I actually like center for this type of portrait um, because I think it gives it a better statement. So then we can do different things. We can change our overflow. So overflow means how do the words go along. So if we were to change the sides here, see this is overflow where it has purple and orange. Um, so it has information there for you. Um, if you go here, contact, and then the phone number, that's there as well. That's, that's overflow where the text flows down to the next line. So this says it's hidden. We can actually change that if we want. We can also change the border. So if we wanted it to be four pixels, we can do that and it makes it very bold. We can also change the border itself. So we can say, I don't want it to be solid. I want it to be dotted. So then now we have dots and we can also change the color. So we can say we want it red and that just makes it lots more fun. Um, and we can also change the width of the poster because right now it's pretty long and narrow. So we're going to say, I want it to be 400 pixels instead. So now it's a little bit wider. But now if you notice, the text looks a little different, so I'm not in love with that, so we're going to make it 350. And look, now it just looks, I think, a little bit better hiked with. So you can play with it. There are instructions down here. Um, we can change it. We can add a background. So see how they put under width? They've changed background, so we're going to do that. Background. And then you have to make sure that you have your punctuation. So in this case, we have our colon, and then we can say yellow, 
or if you want a different color because I don't think the yellow looks great with the orange. So one of the things you can do is when you're in here and you go to the next challenge part, it shows you the different like styles. But if you keep going, one of the things they do actually is that they will have the hex colors for you. Um, so here is colors. So under challenge improving your image, if you open this in a new um, tab, you can come up with colors. So there are CSS names, there are hex codes, and there are RGB values, which is red, green, blue values. I don't actually think that this looks great with a yellow background, so I'm going to choose one of these other colors instead. So I like turquoise, so I'm going to choose a turquoise color. So this is its um, CSS name, this is its hex number, and this is its red, green, blue value. I like the hex color because it's easy to do, so we're just going to copy this. And instead of having yellow, I'm going to change this to be that color. And there you go. And you can do the same thing for the dotted red here. Um, we could do instead a different color. So if we like that color, maybe instead I want it to be more of a fuchsia pink color or deep pink as they call it. And we can copy that and we can make instead of dotted red, we can make that color more fun color as well and that did not work so you can see that sometimes it doesn't work so I'm gonna make it black again because I think black will work better with my my poster color and I think that's true so now if you want to you can continue doing this challenge on your own so we can say headings we can do images and you can just follow along and change the different areas as you want what I would love to see you guys do is once you completed your poster, it would be great if you took a snapshot of it um, with your computer and I would love to see them posted underneath this video on our Facebook or Instagram um, or if you just take a snapshot and put it in, that would be awesome. We would love to see your work and see that you learned some about HTML and CSS. All right, guys, we're so happy that you're doing these videos with us, and we can't wait to see you in person soon. All right, bye for now.